whole box it's going out to my man drew so let's see if we can pull out of this thing for you drew let's get something good man let's see what we can do let's get down to it had to take the watch off had to take the ring off let's do it man let's let's get down to it Twenty sixteen tops update baseball. All right, choppy choppy. Let's do it. Uh, everybody's rooting for Drew, right? We all got your back, Drew. Everybody in here, man. We're going to be rooting for you. We want to see something crazy and sick come out of here. Or just some cool cards to add to your collection. Let me ask you, Drew. Are, are you putting together the set? Are you a set builder or set collector? I'm just wondering because I, I love... Uh, there's a Keon Broxton rookie. I, I love putting together the sets. and These are always my, my favorite that's a rediscover 50 cents off uh, coupon that we just saw. I didn't want to show any kind of code on there. So I didn't want to turn it over. But um, yeah, Series 1, Series 2, and Update, they'll always be my favorites as long as they continue to push those short prints and photo variations. Love those products because you just have so many chances aside from chasing an autograph you have so many chances like that's a great one there you've just got so many chances uh, to get good stuff okay trying to get schwerber all right man let's see if we can't get him i really wish he would have stayed in boston man love schwerber love him wish he would have stayed in boston wish they would have kept him but yeah we're rooting for you so so we're gonna try to give you some some good mojo here to get uh there's a trevor story rookie that's cool um david ortiz one of my favorite all-time red sox man he probably is. him and pedro it's just neck and neck of who's my favorite red sox player right him and pedro i loved manny ramirez and mike greenwell i don't know if you guys collected way back when i collected back in 87 tops Mike Greenwell rookie cards I loved Mike I had every Mike Greenwell card when I was a little kid you know got to go to Fenway and see Mike Greenwell play left field and that was when he was in the home run chase in the uh, rookie of the year chase against Jose Canseco so don't know if you guys remember anybody remember Mike Greenwell and Sean, he said, uh, Schwarber's his dude too, man. Big part of making this Cubs fan's dream come true. That's cool. I loved him in Boston, but man, I just, w I just wish he'd have never left Chicago. Like, I mean, I hate to see these players like that. Like, uh, Chris Bryant, I hate to see those players have to leave those organizations like that really do I've only been to three stadiums in my life to see baseball games been to Fenway Park a bunch of times I have family in Boston I've been to the old Yankee Stadium back in 2003 I saw the game where Pedro Martinez just drilled the Yankees players uh, one by one was hitting them with the ball and boy was that something and that was back in 03 and uh i've been to wrigley field quite a few times so if you had to pick three stadiums that's three of the best ballparks to to be able to say hey i, I went and saw fenway park wrigley field in the old yankee stadium yeah man i love pedro <laughs> and i got to meet him and, and work with do some autographs with him 
uh, here a couple of years ago, and uh, he's he's truly a baseball. He's one of the rare athletes that you meet that like to talk about the sport. A lot of these guys, when you meet them, they don't like to talk about sports because that's all they ever talk about. But Pedro, he he likes to talk. He does not mind. Really nice guy, man. He I got to play. Uh, air catcher to him. He, he was like air pitching to me. And I was on my knees and I was his air catcher. So he was playing around with me. Threw me a couple of fake fastballs and I was the catcher. I just thought that was cool, man. My regret is not having a, him to autograph a jersey. I, I had him autograph a baseball for me. But I should have had a jersey autograph. Could have hung that up. Yeah, man, Enola. No problem, dude. I'll go back and get it. Make sure that that gets a top load, good sir. Yeah, I'm trying to go slow. That way you can see. I'm trying to do a little mix here of fast, but still, you know, so, some of the breakers break them like this. I mean, that that's okay. But sometimes, you know, if somebody's looking for something specific, I mean, there is a, a balance that you got to have. So let me let me get these let me find this Nola. I know he's in here somewhere. And I'll pluck him out. Put him in the top load for you. Let's see. There he is. All right. No problem, good sir. Gotcha. Put him in the Yep, yep. Yeah, that's that's what's great about the stuff, man, is that the base rookies are uh, just good stuff, man. Yeah, I'll pull those too, man, no problem. Back to back, man. I'm just looking through here to pull them. That's all. Just want to make sure I get them. Got them. See, they, these are some of the, the Series 1, Series 2, and Update are easy boxes to get returns on your money on just because of all the, the variations, the base rookies, all that good stuff. There you go, man. All right. Just want to get them, get them going for you. No problem, man. I appreciate you. Chris Davinsky. Hey, Drew, man. Thank you, dude. No problem, man. It's my honor, dude. That's my job. I'm just breaking it for you. I'm just hoping that I can pull you some good stuff, man. That's all I'm trying to do is pull you some good stuff. I just, my, my, I can't believe that we're sitting on the 2017 stuff. Like, I, I'm just, I'm just so shocked that we have the 2017 stuff, not just Judge, but there's some good rookies, man, in the 2017 stuff. And I know it's a high dollar and expensive, but man, I, I just can't believe that we're sitting on it. I thought for sure that at least we'd roll them out fillers, you know? That was my thinking. Just roll them out fillers. Crazy. So if you can, man, get a spot in the 2017. Like 2017, we got update. 2017 update. I mean, man, that's got six stuff in there. 
They got 2017 Bowman sitting around. Um, imagine what's in there. Right? If, if there's a killer judge in those boxes. Plus, also in the description, was there a Schwarber in there? Let me let me go back. Did I miss one? I'm sitting here blabbing. Let me go back, man. Hopefully, I didn't miss miss your boy. Let's see. I hope so. Hopefully there's one in there for you. I'm sitting here blabbing away. I should have been looking for Schwarbers. I was looking for hits. Let me go back through and see. Doot, doot. But yeah, if you can, get a spin. Yeah, there you go, man. That's a Schwarber rookie right there, dude. I'll put, I'll put him in the top of it for you, man. No problem. I love it. Getting people stuff they want. That's what I like to do. There you go. Got him in the loader for you, man. Rookie debut. Nice. I'm so glad that you can get that out of here. I'll see. Let's, let's pull more of them. So let's, that's not going to be the only one. We're going to pull more in here. Here's a, a first hit here. I, maybe there's only one hit per box, but it's a Johnny Cueto All-Star Game 2016 Relic uh, National League from the San Francisco Giants National League All-Star Team. And I like those a lot. I like these, and I like the World Series Relics a lot. So cool stuff there for you. Drew? I know, and uh, what got me really hooked back into this stuff, I was a big collector in the late 80s. And uh, like everybody else, I put it down for a while. It got confusing with all the subsets, etc. I got back into it when I uh, bought a hobby box from LCS. And I pulled a A-Rod World Series Relic. And... Uh, Man, that was just awesome. And then I then I just caught the fever. I was like, man, this is crazy. This is nuts. So then I started buying all the retail stuff off all the shelves. And I just started set putting together sets like I did when I was a little kid. And I just unbelievable amount of fun. My favorite sets. Look, look at that. That's awesome. Jameson Talion. That's great, man. Love those. But yeah, my favorite sets uh, to put together are these. Series 1, Series 2, an update. In the year, I think it was 2014, when they had those little shimmer stars. Do you remember that? The short print base variations, and they had like the little stars you had to look for. The, uh, the light stars. What, what do you call them? The glints. The shimmers. Forget what you call it. the sparkling, the sparkling. Uh, I don't know whatever that. That was the funnest man. I had a blast trying to chase those things. I ended up buying a bunch off of eBay because I just couldn't couldn't chase them all. I kept buying product trying to hit it. Noah Syndergaard. Here you go, cool stuff. But yeah, I've been putting the sets together ever since, man. I was buying them off eBay from Brent and Becca to, to finish my sets. I don't even think they sell. I mean, they still sell cards, Brent and Becca. Brent, does he still? I think he got out of it when the distribution went, went crazy. <clears throat> but, yeah, man, he used to have all the. Anytime you needed to fill your set, man, he had it on eBay. And no matter what card it was, man, that dude had it. Moogie Betts. That's a heartbreaker for me, being a Red Sox fan. Love that guy. Uh, unfortunately, that's what happens in today's day and age of sports, man. You just love a guy. Luke, cool, man. I'll rip those for you in just a second. Yeah, you just start loving a guy, and then boom. Can't do. 
He's not on your team anymore. That's what happened with uh, me and Mookie Betts, man. Unfortunately. But, you know, I'm glad uh, Mookie went to the National League. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad he didn't go to New York. So what's, uh, what's the latest with Judge, man? I, I saw that the Yankees... Um, offered him what three hundred million for eight years? Anybody know? Where, where's my man Joe S? He'll know. What's going on with the current? Anybody got the latest Judge update? I saw the the conspiracy floating conspiracy theories about Judge to Boston, but I don't think the Red Sox are gonna pay a thirty year old guy. On a 10 year deal for you know 400 something million dollars right now, I just don't see that happening. But what do you guys think, man? With with Judge, he gonna stay in New York? Couple of packs left, man. I'm eyeballing these, look for these Schwarbers for you, looking for them. We got one. I swear we're going to get another one out of here. That's going to be different than the one we, we want something different to. And then Luke, after this, man, we'll get to your Alan Ginter. Good, sir. Let's see what we can pull out of there for you. Looking for some Cubs logos, man. I'll speed it up a little bit. I'll pick it up. So I got people waiting on me. I know, I know. I'm just slow on these because I love looking at the cards. There's a Contreras, man. It's a nice one. Twenty sixteen Tops Update Baseball. Jake Gyllenhaal with the Red Sox. That's cool, man. Love it. Is that one of the short print? I think it would be turned around if it was a short print, but it just seems like was this the year that they it was the the Gatorade splash short prints? Can't remember. Tim Anderson rookie. All right, last pack, man. Let's see what you got in here. Last pack. Let's see what we could do for you. Will Myers. Uh oh, there's a Rizzo. All star game Rizzo. Since you're a Cubs fan, no more Schwarbers. All right. Oh, well. No more Schwarbers in there, but still fun stuff nonetheless, man. I would just definitely double check these when you get them. And see if you have any short prints or photo 